For the first time, a Hamilton County soldier is speaking out about her former Army recruiter who is facing prison time for sexual battery and abusing his authority. She is one of seven young women who encountered those attacks. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Chapman has her reaction to a second plea deal with a more severe penalty. She's a young career soldier on a mission. To get what he deserves, because, I mean, what he did is sick and just horrifying. Her identity concealed to protect her privacy. Her words aimed at the former recruiter who betrayed her trust. This was definitely a life-altering event for us. And now I think we just all want to turn it around and make it life-altering for him. 39-year-old former Indiana National Guard recruiter Eric Vetsy pleaded guilty to 10 charges of sexual battery, official misconduct, and corrupt business influence last week. He admitted to groping and forcing sexual acts on as many as seven high school girls he recruited in Hamilton County. In exchange, the rape charge was dropped. We were unknowing. We were just looking for guidance, looking for a career path, and somebody took advantage of us. I just wanted this guy behind bars. But last October, this 22-year-old and several sister recruits say they were surprised when the prosecutor struck a deal with Betsy that would not include a prison sentence. He's getting consequences here, um, and they essentially did not want to go beyond that. And obviously it wasn't because now we're going through the court system again trying to get a harsher punishment. A Hamilton County judge threw the first deal out. This time around when he returns to court, that's he could face a maximum four years. Here he did this to a group of girls and has a four-year maximum. That just doesn't seem fair. For this young woman and others, it's already been four years since the violent encounters and bouts with depression and low self-esteem. But they're taking their stands at military posts around the world, a bit wiser and stronger. I will be happy if he gets the present time and becomes a registered sex offender and has the probation like they're saying. Betsy sentencing is July 3rd. The prosecutor's office did not return our calls for comment. At least two of the victims are now serving in Iraq. Sandra Chapman, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.